Welcome back. In the first part of this tutorial, you learned about the document origin and the X, Y, and Z axes, as well as how to insert and draw objects accurately by specifying their coordinates and by using snaps. We'll begin this second part right where we left off, so let's start by opening our file. The wedding requires a 36 foot by 18 foot dance floor, which starts at the front edge of the stage. The area that the dance floor occupies must be hatched in the diagram in order to indicate that nothing should be placed here. Since the dance floor is not raised from the floor of the room, there is no need to use the riser tool to draw it as we did in Lesson 5. We will use the surface tool instead. While it would be easy to calculate the x and y coordinates for the four corners of the dance floor, we will use yet another of Vivian's drawing aids, orthographic mode, or ortho for short, in order to draw the surface. While using orthographic mode, drawing and movement are constrained to directions parallel to one or two of the x, y, and z axes. When using ortho while drawing, it is possible to simply specify the length of the object being drawn and have it drawn as such in the direction indicated by the cursor's position. Before activating ortho, let's make the stage layer current. Ensure that endpoint snap is enabled and activate the surface tool. The first point of the dance floor will coincide with the bottom of the lower left corner of the stage. So move the cursor close to it until it jumps to the corner, and then click to place this point. You can confirm that this is what happened by looking at the side pane. The height was left set to 5 feet from our previous work on the stage, so we must now set it back to 0 or the next point of the dance floor surface will be drawn 5 feet in the air, which is not what we want. It is now time to activate Ortho. To do so, click the Y button on the Tools toolbar. Note that where before you could move the cursor in any direction, now that Ortho is active for the Y axis, you can only move the cursor up and down, which is parallel to the Y axis, as intended. Our dance floor is 18 feet deep. In order to draw it as such, simply move the cursor towards the back of the room to specify the drawing direction. Type 18 feet and press Enter. Ensure that you do not click the mouse while doing this. To draw the next side of the dance floor surface, which is 36 feet wide, we first activate Ortho for the X axis by clicking the X button. Next, move the cursor towards the center of the room to indicate the drawing direction. Type 36 feet and press Enter. Again, this is done without clicking the mouse at all. For the third side of the dance floor surface, move the cursor towards the stage, type 18 feet, and press Enter once again. The fourth and last side of the surface is drawn automatically after you right-click and select Finish Surface in order to complete drawing it. Note that the dance floor may appear slightly odd with flickering lines in the virtual view. This is normal, based on how it was drawn, but can be easily fixed as you will find out in the next tutorial. To hatch the surface, right-click on its edge, select Object Properties, click to check the Show Hatch Lines option, and click OK. Note that even though orthographic mode was activated while the dance floor was being drawn, the purple outlines around the X and Y buttons remain, indicating that ortho is still active. This is normal, but indeed the opposite of what happens when snaps are enabled or disabled in mid-command. To disable ortho for either or both axes, simply click the buttons once more, at any time. The F8 key on the keyboard may be used to quickly enable or disable ortho. When F8 is used, the entire ortho state is toggled on or off, so if only X ortho is active, pressing F8 will disable it, and pressing it again will only enable X ortho again. In order to add Y ortho, you must click its button with the mouse. Ortho works the same for the side views and for the front and back views, but one of the axes, the one which cannot be accessed by clicking, will always be disabled. This is also normal. We next need to add pipe and drape at the front of the room, between the stage and the front wall. The pipe and drape will be parallel to both, halfway between them and extending two feet on either side of the stage, or a length of 40 feet. From there, the pipe and drape extends 20 feet at 30 degree angles towards the back of the room. 
While it is possible to calculate the coordinates at which to place the endpoints of the pipe and drape, the math can get complicated, so we'll use what we've learned so far to draw the straight section, and then explore a new method of drawing which allows entry of distance and angle in order to draw the angled sections. Let's begin by drawing the straight section towards the stage and front wall. Activate the pipe and drape wizard from the draw menu or by clicking its button on the draw toolbar. Select the draw option and click next. The drape panels are 18 feet tall. Uprights are spaced evenly at a maximum of 10 feet and there are two drape panels per section. Click OK to begin drawing. Enter the coordinate at which the straight section begins. Negative 20 feet on the x-axis, 29 feet on the y-axis, and 0 on the z-axis since the pipe and drape sits on the floor. Press Enter. Since ortho is enabled, as before, simply move the mouse towards the center of the room, type 40 feet for the straight section's length, press Enter, and then right-click to finish drawing the section. We are done with ortho for now, so let's disable it by pressing F8 once more. Before we begin to draw the angled sections, let's look at how angles work in Vivian. Regardless of what view you are working in, except for the 3D view, 0 degrees is always towards the right edge of the screen, 90 degrees is always towards the top edge, 180 is always toward the left, and 270, or negative 90, is always towards the bottom. With this in mind, we can now say that the pipe and drape section at the left of the stage is angled 210 degrees from zero. To draw it as such, start the pipe and drape wizard once more. The wizard remembers the previous values you entered, so you do not need to enter them again. Simply click Next and then Finish to begin drawing. Since this angled section starts at the left end of the section you just drew, use Endpoint Snap to place its first point. Instead of clicking to place the section's other point, we will specify its length and angle as follows. Without clicking again, type at 20 feet, which is the length of this section, followed by an open triangle bracket and the number 210, which is the angle we just calculated. Press Enter to accept the values and draw this section of pipe and drape, then right-click or press Enter to finish. If the section was not drawn correctly, this was because ortho was still enabled. Should this have happened, simply undo, disable ortho by pressing F8, and follow the same steps once again to draw it correctly. Proceed in the same way to draw the section on the right. Activate the pipe and drape wizard, accept the previous values, and place its first point by endpoint snapping to the right end of the straight section. Then, again without clicking, type at 20 feet, open triangle bracket, and the number negative 30. Press Enter to accept the values, and then press Enter again to finish drawing this section. Since this drawing method can also be used when drawing lines and surfaces, it is advisable to get comfortable with using it, as it is much easier to draw in this way instead of constantly having to calculate and enter additional coordinates. Let's expand the Drawing Quad's Virtual View pane in order to get a better idea of how our event is shaping up. Very nice! There are only a few details to add, all of which will be discussed in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to save your file!